Hallelujah. Amen. Sincere thanks to everyone that have been supporting us all the while. God bless you. We appreciate you. We love and we celebrate you. Today is Monday. So much greatness in the air. So much greatness in God's word. So much greatness abounds for us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we worship you because you are merciful. We thank you because you are great. We thank you because you are kind. You are our Father, the maker of all things, the maker of the whole universe. Thank you for such a time like this in your presence. Daily devotions with Jesus is all about you. It's all about your word. It's all about your spirit. Thank you for making this day reality. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty and most wonderful name we pray. Amen. Let's see somewhere in scriptures, Isaiah chapter 1, from verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1, I just want to read 18. This is the Lord speaking. He said, Come now and let us reason together, say the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as woo hallelujah this is god saying come now let us reason together let us let us rob mind hey hey the supreme god is beckoning on us as individuals to come and reason with him this is to tell us that god wants an intimate fellowship with with us because he is very big mighty god awesome god doing all these wonders Saying he wants to reason with us as man. God. This scripture opened my eyes because I was praying and reading this scripture and there was a deep revelation that came to me. God wants to relate with us. He said, though your sin may be as red as scarlet. That is to say a lot of people, they have committed so much sins. Maybe they have killed someone or maybe you have done a lot of havoc, kidnapping and ritual attacks. And then you feel that you have forgotten. You feel that... You are, you are so afraid to come close to God. But this is God telling you this morning, this moment. He said, come now. Let us reason. Let us rub mind. Let us reason together. He said, do your sin may be as red as scarlet. Do your sin is so terrible. He said, he will wash you and make you white as snow. He just wants you to reason with him. Come, let us reason together. That's what God is saying. Just as we reason with our fellow men in business ideas. Let's reason. How can this thing work out? Abraham knew this. No wonder Abraham was reasoning. When God wanted to destroy the city where Lord was dwelling. And God was like, I'm going to destroy this city with fire. I'm going to destroy this city. I'm going to destroy this city. And then Abraham appeared before God and said, Lord. So Lord, if there are 50 righteous men in this city, will you destroy the city? God said, no. If there are 50 righteous men, I will not destroy the city. Abraham negotiated with God. That is the power of reasoning. And Abraham negotiated with God. And Abraham was still telling God, God, if there are 40 people, will you destroy the city? God said, no. If there are 30 people, will you destroy the city? If there are 20 people, righteous people in this city, will you destroy the city? Oh my God. Abraham reasoned with God until God spared that city. My father. My but that's the power of reasoning. This is what the Lord is telling us here in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Come now, let us reason together. Therefore, I don't know the sin. I don't know that sin you have committed. Or that havoc you think you have caused. Or that chaos you think that, it, that you have done and then God has forgotten about you. Or God cannot receive you again. It's a lie from the pit of hell. God can receive you. God does not condemn us or judge us. He wants us to reason with him. He created us to please him. And that is why you cannot find peace within you until you run to God. Any life without Christ is full of crises, is full of problems, affliction, challenges. You cannot find peace. And that's why the psalmist cried out. He said, my soul panted after the living God. When shall I appear before him? This is God calling us together to reason with him. Though your sin may be as red as scarlet or dark. Hey. My God. Say, do your sins be as scarlet? They shall be as white as snow. 
though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. God wants to purify you. Therefore, you want to repent. You want to give your life to Jesus Christ. I've been stirred up in my spirit to pray for you. You say, Lord Jesus, from the bottom of your heart, I am sorry for my sins. Have mercy upon me. I want to reason with you. Deliver me from my sins. Wash me and make me white as snow. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please reach out to us via our email or you can send us a DM. God has something powerful for you. And God is beginning a fresh start with you. Thank you, Jesus, for all these ones, the viewers that are rededicating their souls to you, their lives to you. Have your way in the midst of them. Bless them in their going out and in their coming in. Every accusation of guilt of the devil, accusation of, of oppression of the devil, let it be taken away in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, please remember to share, to build our community, and also extend these greetings and message to your loved ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Enjoy this new week. God bless you.